Hey, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday. Today, folks, an update about the fan, perhaps a small rant, and uh, some other fish room shenanigans I'm sure we'll throw in there. All right, fishy folks, it is early Tuesday morning. Hi, Chewy. And uh, when you see one of the bloopers, you'll see that my stand that holds, or the apparatus that holds my phone fell <clears throat> and broke so I have to hold my phone with my hand which might mean it's a little shaky sorry I apologize I've already ordered something new on Amazon it'll be here in 15 minutes because Amazon is creepy like that anyway let's talk about the fan in the fish room the temperature in the fish room 83.3 when I said it's early half the lights in the fish room are still off there's Chewy spectacular cock there's my Aquacraze sticker. Oh, look, there's some extra airline tubing. But anyway, what you want to know is tank temperature, right? So we'll hit up this tank. If you remember, these were all 83, 79, 79, 79. Now, this is what's interesting. This is the tank up here, the Jarawi Lazulis. I'm sorry, the Tanaka Maple Leafs. You can see there's a bunch of little fry in there. But this tank right now... 83 stays at 83 no matter what I do and I'm just thinking that I'm a dumbass and there's a heater in there that I can't tell if it's on or not wow I I'm so this is what happens when you film live and you don't really edit because I can't edit this out this is gold let's check and see if this is plugged in all right I'm gonna put my thermometer in my pocket I'm gonna holster my thermometer. We're gonna go behind the scenes to the disaster. See, I have a nice big corridor back here. Corridor? So here's the thermometer. Here's the plug. What a freaking dumbass. Let's unplug this. I don't know if I can do this on camera. I know, great camera work. Stand by, I'm putting it down. Well, fishy folks, I think I have solved the mystery of why that tank stayed 83 degrees. I was gonna go into a whole spiel and hope you guys could felt me figure it out but i think i figured it out we're moving we're moving so uh yeah the dummy fish room keeper that is me i always said i was just a dumb guy with a camera and a nice shaped head um anyway so what was happening is you can see these tanks pretty much have leveled out right around 80 or 7 between 78 and 80 you can see all the tanks are looking good temperature wise then we go to the second row still at 79 still at 79 still at 79 and then even we go down low this one's a little cool 77 80 77 i have to check to see if there's a heater in there no there isn't i unplugged all the heaters while i was back there so the, the tanks have pretty much leveled out as far as temperature goes. Let's check closer to the heater. So this is the fan, near the fan. This one is 85. I don't think that's right. This one is 81, 85, 79. Go up here to the Pleco tank, 79. So this one says 85, huh? Well, that's interesting. Let me check. Well, it's definitely warmer than this tank. So this tank is 80. This tank is 87. I, it does not feel like it's 87. I gotta be honest with you. This tank is 82. It's got some fry in it. And you see there's two caves because there is a new breeding pair of super red bristlenose plecos somewhere hiding in there I got from my buddy Mikey at Mile High Plecos, the same Mikey that paid me $50 to let Chili bite me. So, uh, yeah. All right, well, let's check these tanks. 79, 79. 82, let's check, 82, and then Bruce's tank over there, 80, 
80. So we're pretty much where we need to be. Oh, there's Chewy chasing the light. You bastard. He's he's stuck behind the Java most. Where is it? Where is it? It's right there. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. You can't get it. Ha. All right. So uh, I think we pretty much solved the mystery of uh, why that one tank was staying at 83 degrees. And now we have to figure out why these tanks are so warm. Because this one is 86, right? But this one's only 82. And the fan's right there. It's blowing on both of them. What, are, what do we got up here? 81. 81. 80. Yeah, so the fan definitely helped even out all the tanks, although I don't know why these are so warm, especially with the fan blowing right there. So what's interesting with the fan is when the heater is on, it blows really warm air, obviously. What I think I'm going to do is hang it from the ceiling, as people have suggested. Um, not exactly sure how I'm going to hang it. Um, but I got to figure that out. I'm sure I could figure out I'm pretty crafty like that. And uh, another, other people have commented on this sagging pipe. Oh, the heat's making it sag. No. When it was installed, the guy that installed it was a lazy bum and didn't measure, just put stuff together. When it was too long, he left it. I don't want to mention any names, but it's this guy. So I may or may not cut that pipe and re-glue it. It's the air pipe, my closed loop air system for my Gemco air pump. Um, all right, let's talk about what else in the fish room. Oh, I picked up uh, these really nice platies and uh, we'll see if those breed now there's there's another fish in there see that that clear looking fish with the two dots there's two of them I'm guessing that's some kind of cichlid uh, the guy had them all bagged up before I I could look at the fish and um, so I got to get those out of there and feed them to Chewy, but I kind of want to see what they are. So if you're a cichlid nerd, Scott, maybe you could tell me what they are. See them back there. I also picked up uh, two female angels, but I already gave them to my local fish store. And here are the crebenzas I picked up. Oh, there's way more juveniles than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 juveniles. There's the male crib. See them back there. And there's a female in here also, and, and the pair is already sold. Well, I have a customer that said he wanted them. We've agreed to a price, but I haven't sent an invoice yet, so I gotta do that. And uh, there's also some plecos. You see a pleco tail in that cave right in the middle. I'm pointing to it, and you can't see it because I'm pointing to it, so it's, ooh, it's like a point. Right in there, there's a, a pleco. And also in there, there's a pleco, hopefully fanning some eggs. We'll see. Uh, hey, will these cribs eat pleco eggs? I just put them in here because I, I thought I was going to flip them really fast. But I don't want them to eat any pleco eggs anyway. Uh, here is another group of albino bristlenose plecos. Big ones, and I don't see any eggs either. But you can see there's, there's one chilling back there. All right, fishy folks, there's something I want to talk to you about. So I've noticed on social media, there are a lot of small businesses, small companies trying to make it in this world. I'm one of them. I used to, you know, promote all my videos on Facebook and, um, you know, I sometimes I put sales that I have on my website on Facebook and I try to, you know, when somebody in one of the groups says, hey, where can I buy guppies or I need some American born guppies. You know, I put my website and sometimes I make a sale, sometimes I don't. You know, it helps to get your name out there. But one thing I don't do is I don't promote myself like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't promote myself not representing myself. So let me give you a scenario. On a certain website, you can go and recommend uh, sellers. And so let's just say you had a, a group, a company, and let's just say it was R&R &R Aquatic Pets. 
and the owners of said R&R Aquatic Pets were named Ronnie and Rebecca. So Ronnie and Rebecca promote their company by saying, I recommend R&R Aquatic Pets. But they're not recommending it as Ronnie and Rebecca. I'm sorry, they're not recommending it as R&R. They're recommending it as R, Ronnie and Rebecca Aquatic Pets. So it's like the owners are recommending themselves as a company. I just think that's wrong. So if you ever see anyone named Michael promote Michael's Fish Room and their last name happens to be my last name, it's me. <laughs> but I, I, I would probably never like fake do that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm enamored by the size of his cock. Look at it. It's ginormous. All right. That's enough of me rambling about that. I, uh, I told the person, I told somebody about this and, uh, she said, I feel another rant coming on. I said, no, I'm going to be nice. And I was nice. Lots of fanning going on in here, but I don't know if snails are eating eggs or they're not getting fertilized. I don't know what the story is, but these guys, two of these boys have been in these caves for weeks. So I don't know what's up. And I feed the bejesus out of this tank. I'm surprised there's even any, there's a couple scraps left from last night's French cut green bean feeding. All right. This was a Wednesday shenanigans. Talk about nothing. Look at this, look at this better. You wanna buy someone a Christmas present? Although I probably won't ship till after Christmas. You wanna, you wanna buy yourself a Christmas present that's gonna come late? Look at that better. Isn't that not fantastic? You can have that better for $50, including shipping. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Maybe you can't have it. Maybe I wanna keep him. He is cool as heck. All right, fishy folks. Check out michaelsfishroom.com.